A wipeout sent big wave surfer Kai Lenny to the hospital, but things could have been much worse if it wasn't for some added protection. World champion waterman Kai Lenny posting this photo on social media from the hospital, holding his cracked surf helmet. Lenny wrote that it was his first time wearing a helmet at Pipeline, and it may have saved his life. On Thursday, Lenny wiped out at the Hui backdoor shootout at Pipeline. In his post, he says he doesn't remember what happened, but he has a solid concussion and some bleeding out of his left ear. While Lenny is back home in Maui recovering, the visual of his helmet highlights the benefits of wearing one. For local people, he's important. And the more that he takes his health into consideration, the better off all of us might be. He's, he's setting an example. Many surfers do see it as a useful piece of gear. Would you wear one? I think I would. I think I would. Yeah, because... I, I know, yeah, how dangerous it can be, and like, it makes a lot of sense, and I don't know why it's not more normalized. It's like a very kind of small thing you can do that'll like potentially save your life. Although it seems like common sense, some surfers still don't wear a helmet. <laughs> One big wave surfer tells me the helmet creates too much drag in the water, limits his vision, and impairs his hearing. Especially for, you know, your more traditional kind of waterman, you know, somebody who, who grew up in an analog era. They're, they're not necessarily comfortable. They're not necessarily um, fashionable. They may feel a little um, awkward. But Lovell says it's not about fashion. It's about living to surf another day. Look at what happened to Kai, right? Um, if, if he never had the helmet, then maybe hospitalized or... Where so? Surf helmets have evolved over the years, and the cost can run you anywhere from $120 to over $300, depending on the activity they're being used for, as well as their style and different features. A helmet like this with a visor is most likely to be used for foiling, whereas this type of helmet would most likely be used for prone surfing. Upgrades in technology and design are making helmets stronger and lighter. Even feel the weight. Oh, it is it's super light. It, this is about as top of the line as it gets. He compares it to buying shoes. One pair isn't going to work for everyone. But one thing people need to remember... Really you light. get what you pay for in terms of safety equipment. Lovell says helmets are being used more now in all water sports, from surfing to world-class yachting. And he's urging athletes to take their safety seriously.